Okay, here we are in the Boundary Waters. We're at the entry point number 23, Mudro Lake. And the plan is to get up into Horse Lake for today. So it's nice and early, it's uh, 612 at the moment. What do you guys think? You excited? Yeah. We're here. So we got a little portage to start off the trip to get down into the water. So without further ado, here we go. Here we are, just paddling down Mudro Creek, making our way into Mudro Lake. Beautiful morning. Just got started. We had to line the canoe a little bit. A little low and muddy. But it looks like we got deep enough water now. Just gorgeous. I'm so happy to be here. All right, so we came to our first obstacle. We got this like little rock dam here. And there's another one down there. So we're gonna do a quick little portage. We could carry over and then paddle for a little bit, but it'll be quicker just to portage past the second one. After that, we should be home free. But here we go. The boys are debating about what some of these sticks look like. Logs, trunks, is that what? But we made it out of Mudro Creek and we're on Mudro Lake now, heading to our next portage. Just absolutely beautiful morning. Lake is calm, light fog on the lake. Beautiful. All right, so here we are on our next portage, a bit of a rocky one. Already brought the canoe and all the packs except for the food barrel so that's what I'm grabbing right now very rocky but very pretty I could see these rocks being very slippery if it's wet this is like a dry creek bed that runs over here and it makes me wonder if this gets underwater during ice out I'm sure it does I'm sure there's fast water here in the early spring, but right now, water levels are pretty low. But we're managing. We a couple extra carryovers. Had to line a couple spots. So we're cruising along. Here we are to the end. And we'll be off shortly. Canadian Shield rock faces here on the Portage Trail. Really cool, really pretty. It's pretty astonishing. We don't get this kind of stuff at home. Just finished with the Portage coming into Four Town Lake and definitely had to have our billy goat legs to get down this one. Little turtle just hanging out. Just sunbathing on the rock. Three quarters of the way down Four Town. And we're gonna come around this point here and make our way to the portages over to Horse Lake. The wind's picking up a little bit. It is hazy from the smoke, the wildfire smokes in Canada.
thing we noticed. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that area over there several years back was a burn area, wildfire. It's grown back pretty well, but you can definitely tell a stark difference. So I missed getting the eagle flying, but you can hear it going to town. That's kind of rare. I've never heard an eagle make that much sound. Maybe he's upset that we're here. <laughs> I don't know. But that was awfully majestic. Show you guys what we're dealing with now. We got this friggin' rock garden that we have to carry over. No. Okay, so here we are on Horse Lake. Last stretch of our travel for today. Going to the back corner here to find a campsite. The wind has picked up a bit. So luckily, like I said, we're kind of at the end of our traveling. But yeah, very pretty lake. It's kind of long. Canadian Shield rock. Good stuff. Can't wait to uh, get hydrated, maybe have a bite to eat, and uh, do some fishing. What do you guys think? All right. Here we are folks on our island site on Horse Lake. Pretty cool site, but it is a windy day. And then the boys are back behind me doing boy stuff, having the time of their lives. But let me show you real quick around the campsite. Got our canoes set there, we got our gear dump here, extra bags, with the miscellaneous things. Chill in there, clothesline, pretty nice fire pit, table for prepping and work on both sides, sunbathing, rock here. Boys have just been kind of chilling out down here quite quite a bit of the afternoon. Pet set up. Yeah, 
it's uh it's been a very enjoyable afternoon all right so it's about 5 30. we've uh, been doing a lot of relaxing getting kind of hungry so for tonight we decided to do spaghetti got it here vacuum sealed get the water going dehydrated this myself so what I like to do is actually put the pasta in a paper bag and that keeps the hard pasta from wanting to kind of poke the vacuum seal bag which in turn could lose the vacuum seal so it's kind of my method of doing it but anyways yeah so we should be eating here in about 20 minutes and then we also have um, some naan bread with some olive oil and Italian seasoning and garlic so yeah that'll be all good I'm excited I'm pretty hungry kids say they're hungry too they're out of frame but they're green 